Yo, trust me, that one called Killing It. Michael Payne featuring Jordan for the Rizzle Kicks. And a heavy track has produced that one. And believe me, it's heavy tracking on that one. The bass is stupid. <laughs> All right, so obviously we've got Michael Payne in the studio right now. And we've got the Cypher session. We've also got the guest mix from TT. But right now, I just need to find out a couple of things. Now, Mike, I've known you since you did Blag It. Mm. And that, that was year, years, years yeah, ago, like right? Stuff. And you've been going strong since then, like from strength to strength to strength. Nice. Yeah, I see you on the Copperberg advert. And all the, actually, no, no, was it? It was the, yeah, it was the Copperberg, actually. Yeah, yeah and it was. Yeah, few, yeah, yeah I just yeah. see you jumping yeah. around and I'm going, what the? I swear I know my guy. All right, cool. But as I said, you move from strength to strength. Right now, I know you've got like a, I know you've got tours coming up this year in 2015. Yeah, yeah, definitely got something in the pipeline. Um, we've just got to lock it in to confirm everything. So I won't say dates just yet, but cool. um, yeah, any info, people can just follow me, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. All right, and where, whereabouts can they follow you? What's, what's that? At, at Michael statistics. Payne across the board. M-I-K-I-L-L-P-A-N-E. That's the... That's the handle across the board. Instagram, Twitter, all that. Wicked, 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 wicked. All right, yeah, my mic sound is smooth today. <laughs> all right, cool. Right, so I know you got the Cypher session. I know you're actually a bar head. Like, I know all the stuff that, like, we hear out on the radios and that, but I know rappers are rappers mm. at heart. Mm. And, yes, we do the stuff that we need to do for that. Mm. But you're a, you're a bar head. Because when I heard Mr. Payne, Return of Mr. Payne, again, I'm harking back. I know you got a whole load of new stuff from... Um, from your new EPs as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, like how how's how's the transition been between going from just barring into like going into a full blown artist? Well the thing is I've always even though like I've always tried to, to tread the fine line between lyricism and like artistry if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. So I've always tried to be creative of everything. I've always tried to like write conceptual stuff. But I've always there's you you can't I can't name a song. I don't think anyone can name a song where I haven't at least put punchlines in even if it's about the most obscure subject you yeah. understand from like i don't know life on the line on on my album blame miss barkley to like dirty right that's a tune about cycling do you know what i mean but yeah. it's i always try and put some punchlines and stuff like double on on just puns whatever so um it's to be fair there hasn't there hasn't really been a transition in that respect okay, do you know okay, what I mean? okay i've always just i've just done the same damn thing all the time but the music's changed a little bit and then you know revert right now i'm reverting back to the like the lo-fi electronic hip-hop yeah. sound whereas obviously on the album i wanted to make because my album was written a year before virgin emi signed it okay, you understand cool. so no one can tell me that a label had any creative influence over what i did do yeah you know what i mean um so yeah it's every, every single thing i've done I've liked and I've put it out because I wanted to put it out. So good, there's good. literally been no transition. See that that's usually what happens. I mean what 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 I usually see what happens is artists will get signed and then their music's not the same as what mm. they used to do. Yeah. But you have you managed is, to actually yeah, just maintain well, yeah, that research. Yeah, I maintained it because my music was never the same. Yeah. You understand? Like Return of Mr. Payne, the sound on that is very different from the sound on like the Shatter EP, which yeah. is different from the sound on the Guinness and Black Current EP. Yeah. They're all different. So when I put out an album, no one's expect no one knows what it's gonna sound yeah, like. Yeah, that's a good thing. I mean? Keep them on their toes. And mm. to be honest, that's what the UK industry is about. We're always flitching and switching yeah, and like and and that's it. But um it, it's one of those ones where as I said, the reason why I'm asking you about the the, lyr- the lyricism of it is mm. because Nowadays, you don't hear that much of it. Mm. Like, it's very kind of very simple, but you, you're still able to get in the entendres, double entendres. Yeah, and yeah, like of course. And I suppose flow, that's, so. why, that's why I'm, you know, I'm not... Like, there are... There, there was a time, I suppose, in, in UK hip-hop, or, you know, the, the, even, like, the main... Mainly the mainstream stuff, um, people weren't really bothered about, like, punchlines. It was more about hooks, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But people like, like Crepton Conan, who are huge now, are leading the charge of like bringing back proper lyricism yeah in like even if it's like a turn up tune even if it's do you know what i mean like j- trap anything they're yeah. still lyricists you understand yeah so all right and where do you think um uk i'll do you know i'll just call it uk underground music i'm not even gonna call it urban because i hate that word to be honest <laughs> um where do you think it's gonna go because we're always changing and as a person who's kind of at the forefront of that um where do you think it's gonna go I suppose it's, it's hard to say. I think it's gonna, like, there will always be a market for 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 music, mm. whether you call it urban music of black origin, like, or just generalize it under hip hop or whatever. Yeah. 
there will always be a market for it whether it kind of whether it's like a hybrid of, of rapping and something else yeah. do you know what I mean like over people doing like you know Dutch house tunes do you know what I mean rappers yeah. are jumping over Dutch house tunes it's it will always be there. Um, I, j I don't really see it going anywhere. I just see it being the same, just being as big as it always has been. Do you know what I mean? New people coming in, some people leaving. It's just, it's just a cycle, isn't it? Cool. And who have you got your eye on to collaborate with in the, in the, in the near future? Um, a few people, but I'm not going to say any names yet, just in case they don't come to fruition. All right, all right. I've done it when people look back on the show. <laughs> <laughs> the duppy them just mess up everything. It's all good. It's all good. All right, cool. Now you're going to be back for the cypher in a minute. Yeah. Just before you do that, just let people know exactly where they can find you and tell them where you're going to be tonight. I'm going to be in somewhere in Southampton tonight. When I find <laughs> out the venue, I'll tweet it. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Michael Payne. It's M-I-K-I-L-L-P-A-N-E. Cool. All right. Thank you very much for your time, bruv. No worries, just... Right. Right. It's just going to take a quick breather before we get into the cypher. But before we do that, Let's get into this. Uh, I need your home when I get up. Uh, I need your home when I get up. Uh, I need your home when I get up. Uh, I need your home when I get up. Uh, I need your home when I get up. Uh, I need your home when I get up. Uh, I need your home when I get up.